one would have expected long ago that the plethora of legal problems that Mr. Trump has would have a large effect on his political standing. They haven't so far. Uh, but I do think that a criminal conviction would make some significant difference at the margins. Uh, not that his political support would collapse. Uh, there is a significant portion of the population that simply believes him when they say it's all, you know, it's all political. It's all a vast conspiracy against him. Could he uh, actually end up in jail, do you think? Uh, I think if he, <laughs> I don't know about it in this case, uh, but I think if he, if, if, if he is not elected president and if he is convicted in uh, one or more of the other cases, I think there's a reasonable chance he'll, he'll do jail time, yes. Now, the judge at the New York court where former President Trump is on trial has warned he will not put up with any intimidation of jurors in his courtroom. And he's accused Trump of making comments during the questioning of one juror. Jury selection has resumed on day two of Trump's long-awaited hush money trial. It marks the first time that a U.S. president, former or current, has faced a criminal trial. Outside the courtroom, Trump said it is all politically motivated. Hey, this is all coming from the Biden White House because the guy can't put two sentences together. He can't campaign. They're using this in order to try and win an election. And it's not working that way. It's working the opposite way. So check that out. Legal expense. It's called legal expense. That's what you're supposed to call it. Well, uh, that was Donald Trump today. Let's speak to Professor Frank Bowman, who's author of High Crimes and Misdemeanors, A History of Impeachment for the Age of Trump. Um, good evening, Professor Bowman. Very nice to be with you. Really good to speak to you. Um, what do you make of the way this trial is going? Um, we're only on, tr on day two, and already the judge and Donald Trump seem to be clashing. Some clash was probably inevitable. Mr. Trump is a person with uh, limited impulse control, uh, and he's not used to uh, being in a justice system in which uh, the boss is at the front of the room and it's not him. Uh, so I mean, that is, is unsurprising, uh, nor is it surprising that he is trying to use his appearances outside the courtroom as, as surrogate uh, or substitute you know, campaign rallies. I don't know how effective that will be for him, but that's what he's trying. Well, what we've seen so far is that at every single stage of all these uh, courtroom battles that he's faced, that every time he appears in court, it just seems to further motivate at least his base. Um, how do you think, though, this uh, trial could play? Uh, the first question, of course, is how it will come out, and we can't know that. Um, and one thing that any experienced trial lawyer will tell you is that uh, regardless of how strong you think the facts may be, when you put the resolution of a case in the hands of 12 lay jurors, you can't possibly uh, know how it will turn out. And particularly in the case of a defendant like Mr. Trump, who inspires both considerable loyalty and a considerable loathing, uh, on the part of members of the general public, you can't possibly predict uh, how a group of 12 of them will will uh, will decide. And to convict him, you have to have jury unanimity. So if he either were to be acquitted, which I think is improbable, or even get a hung jury, he's going to declare that this is a great victory. Um, now, the interesting question is also, well, what happens if he's convicted? Uh, the, there, there's a legal side of that and a uh, and, and a political side, uh, one would have expected long ago that the plethora of legal problems that Mr. Trump has would have a large effect on his political standing. They haven't so far. Uh, but I do think that a criminal conviction would make some significant difference at the margins. Uh, not that his political support would collapse. Uh, there is a significant portion of the population that simply believes him when they say it's all you know, it's all political. It's all a vast conspiracy against him. Could he uh, actually end up in jail, do you think? Uh, I think if he did, <laughs> I don't know about it in this case, uh, but I think if he if 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 he is not elected president and if he is convicted in uh, one or more of the other cases, 
I think there's a reasonable chance he'll, he'll do jail time, yes. I mean, this case is perhaps uh, less serious than the others, but certainly uh, the other three, the one in Georgia and the two federal cases are very serious charges. And anybody other than a former president of the United States, if they were convicted of those charges, they'd be sent to prison for some period. So yeah, it's a chance he could. But it doesn't sound at the moment as though any of those other cases which relate to his efforts to overturn the result of the last presidential election are likely to actually uh, take place or even be or be concluded before the presidential election. That's true. And uh, that means that their, their political effects are likely to be fairly muted. Great group, right here. You don't get better. Good photographer, by the way. Yeah. Right, you, yeah. you can, but the implications to yeah. defend yourself here. No, no, it's, it's, I mean, you should be allowed to have it. You should, you should. You, by the way, if you had a gun, then you, you would never get better. Of course, they will yeah. represent Mr. Alba, Jose Alba, you know. How did he end up in a civil lawsuit? Well, what happened was, is he got arrested, he's been in this country. <laughs> <and> <laughs> think it's a rigged deal and it is a rigged deal it's a rigged trial our courts everything is screwed up in new york and the whole world is watching this judge is so conflicted you understand that you'll take a look at that there's never been a judge so conflicted as this it's ridiculous and also there's no crime there shouldn't be a gag order let me just tell you the gag order is totally unconstitutional the judge should not be there the judge is highly conflicted he should not be there Have a good time, everyone.